if we're developing a PHP website and we want to be able to keep a consistent look and feel, one easy way is to create a template file that looks something like this and then to split it up and include parts of it into our files that we're going to be creating. By including the parts of the files, if we update part of the include file, then all the pages will automatically get those updates. So if we look at our source code, we see here that everything in front of the content section, which is what would be edited, is going to remain the same from page to page, and everything at the bottom of the content section is going to stay the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything from my doc type to my opening tag for my content area. I'm going to copy that. I have a folder for includes is where I'm going to bring in the include information. I'm going to right click on it, create a new PHP file. I'm going to call this one header. Replace the existing tag and copy all the content. Hit save. When you save this file, if your editor will be looking out for different HTML warnings, it's going to start to give you some. Both of these are letting you know we don't have an ending div tag. This is because it's going to be found in our footer tag, and when we combine the two together, that's what we found. Let's go back into the template file. Select my closing div tag for my content area. Go all the way down to my bottom HTML. Then I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it footer. We're going to place its contents with the contents that we just pasted in. Save it. Once again, you're going to notice a lot of HTML errors from warnings. This is because it's either missing the beginning tag uh, or it's not finding things like the opening HTML tag and body tag, which these all would obviously need in a normal circumstance. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these together. Now what I have here is I have an existing page for the adding new entries into the guest book area. What I'm going to want to do is include the parts from our header and footer that we just created. To do that, it's going to create an opening PHP tag, include is the command to include the external file. Header.php, put a semicolon, this lets us know that we're at the end of the file. For our footer down at the bottom page, we're going to create a PHP tag, include our footer file, we'll create the semicolon, save, we're going to upload this and then we'll see it working. I'm going to upload this file. And I'm going to go to our add entry page. Here's the add entry page. The page only has this form information right here, but you notice how it's looking like it has all the information. That's because on the server, if you see the source code, it's including those external files and adding all the different pieces to it to make sure it works correctly, which is exactly what we would want to see.